there are many mansions in my father's house or in other translations in my father's house there are many rooms if we are not so i would have told you i will prepare a place to you john chapter 14 number two the milky way where we are is such a wonderful and big place I keep telling over and over again that this is an exciting moment to be alive because the world is changing. We are going through a big, big transition. But what did Jesus mean with there are many rooms in my father's house? He was talking about the many planets in this gigantic universe there can be inhabited beings just like you and me and we are all from the same family because God spread seeds of human beings over all in the universe but we are made of stardust we are made, this body is made with things that are from this planet. And that life in other planets can be made with other star stuff. Hi there, gorgeous soul, and welcome back to my channel. I am Bob Spaz, a spiritual coach, and my mission is to make the awakening of consciousness go viral and remind you who you truly are, a spirit living one experience here in earth, evolving along with the earth. Now we are here in the Milky Way and it's like a city, a big city in the universe. But the universe has planets, asteroids, uh, stars, energetic eddies. Among these suns is ours, a very mo modest of lighting, considering Cyrus, one of our neighbors that shines 40 times more than our, than our sun. So if you think that you are very important, well, think again. <laughs> we are just a nitsy bitsy teeny weeny not a yellow polka dot bikini, but a itsy bitsy teeny weeny life here on earth. But we can do many wonderful things, especially now that earth is evolving in a collective consciousness. Oh, sorry for the noise. Cannot do anything about it. And along with this tiny sun there is this tiny blue planet that we are living planet earth that if you compare to the universe is nothing it's and it, nothing <laughs> so traveling at light speed of 300,000 kilometers per second it takes thousands of years to cross one place of milky way to the other place to the other side but man's telescopic mirrors are already able to see that there are, there are millions millions of other galaxies more or less similar to ours in this vast universe so do you really think that with all this enormous gigantic almost infinite universe Earth is the only planet where life is present. The gospel, according to Spiritism, teaches us, the spirits teaches us that it appears that different worlds have very different conditions from one another in terms of degree of advancement or inferiority of their inhabitants. Among them, there are those who are still even inferior to earth physically and morally if you consider even now here at this very moment in earth there are there is so much different 
difference between the, the lands and the cultures. There are cu cultures that are more developed spiritually, other cultures that are more developed physically in, in how they live, how their houses are, and there are other cultures that everything is different. Everything is different. I was born in Brazil and I used to see in my contact with indigenous people they they are really developed morally they respect other forms of life not only other human beings but all animals all plants they are developed spiritually and uh, i see the difference between brazil and here in the netherlands the cultures are everything here is everything's got a good rule and people respect each other and the society at least at least the dutch people <laughs> the majority of the dutch people i see so many differences i've been in three continents and more than 25 countries i've seen so many differences here on earth can you imagine if there is life and i i truly believe there is otherwise i wouldn't be making this video in other planets how much difference it is between all of them and i cannot believe that earth is the most developed we are in the transition now to become a better a better planet to live with higher vibration because we have our personal development our personal uh, way of going through lives many lives in order to learn each time that we come here on earth in an in each incarnation something better to improve as human beings but we have the collective development that we are going now here on earth that i'm always saying it is exciting times to be alive because we can be helpful to earth to evolve as i was saying before i go down the rabbit hole among all those planets, there are those who are still inferior to Earth, physically and morally, and others who are at the same degree, others who are more or less superior. In lower worlds, existence is almost all the time material, uh, evolved, spirituality almost, is almost not there. The people are there just to survive. They're in surviving mode. And who are more advanced, life it is more spiritual than here. They don't suffer diseases as we suffer here or people who are stealing one another. In the middle worlds where we are here on earth, good and evil are mixed. Sometimes one predominates over the other according to the degree of advanced men uh, which they are found. Although we cannot make an absolute classification between different worlds, we can at least consider their state and destiny based on the most outstanding aspects, dividing them just like this. Primitive worlds where the first incarnations of the human soul take place. Worlds of attunement and trials where evil predominates. Uh, regenerated worlds where soul have something that tunes in the higher vibration and they can rest. Happy worlds where good overcomes evil and heavenly divine worlds, purified spirits, where good is there with no mixture. We are here now in the worlds of proof and uh, trial, but Jesus says that 
the road of the reality, the existence of the plurality. Oh my God, I'm losing my English. Plurality of roads. <laughs> the question arises, are really all the worlds inhabited? Because as we know, for instance, Mars here next to us, the scientists say that they didn't find life there. But is, is that really so? I read a book by Francisco Cândido Xavier, Letters from a, died woman, a Dead Woman. His mother wrote to him, he channeled the, her letters, and she says that she saw herself in front of a wonderful lake next to a city in Mars with buildings that were just like ours here on earth with some differences that the people there in addition to the arms they had something behind their backs that was just like wings and they would fly above the floor how amazing is that then i ask myself i really the scientists saying everything about life on earth or maybe the people who live in, Ar in Mars they don't want to be found or seen or they can be in another dimension in a different dimension that we are here on earth living we are living in 3, 4D ascendant to a 5D we are in 5D only when we sleep and we unfold and we can be walking on the spiritual or astral realm. Then I, I keep asking myself that. But the thing is, I'm going again down the rabbit hole. We are in exciting moments to be alive because we have the power to raise our own vibration and when we do that and most of us do the same it's like contagious you raise your vibration somebody harm you and does something bad to you and instead of hating them you let them go away with it even if they don't apologize if they don't apologize, it's their problem, not yours. If you let them go away with it, if you forgive them, if you let go of hard feelings, you raise your vibration. And that's contagious to all the people around you that are learning with you. You can be a role model to the people who are around you. And they also raise their vibration. And when the collective raises their vibration, the earth will ascend to the 5D. So each and every one of us is important to this change in earth now, to this collective ascension of earth. In the Spirit's book, written by Allan Kardec, they ask the superior spirits in the question 55, are all the globes that move in the space inhabited? And the answer was the following. God has populated the worlds with living beings, all these beings contributing to the final objective of providence. To believe that we are here that we are the only planet that are inhabited is to doubt the wisdom of God. He didn't do anything that's useless. He's the supreme intelligence of the universe, the first cause of everything. And planet Gaia, our little beautiful blue planet is not the only one. He, using, he wouldn't put all those globes in the universe just for us to look at it and be romantic. No, there are many mansions in the father, my father's house. 
it's necessary to consider all that that we are only a fraction of what there is there are many populations many seeds of humans in all globes there are spirits in evolution in many many planets and there's something even more interesting now I've made a video telling the story about the migration through orbs I was born here here no, there in Brazil 10,000 kilometers from here at the other side of the Atlantic Ocean and I migrated here to the beautiful Netherlands that already lives in my heart. I'm half Dutch now. Are you living in the same city where you were born? So, souls also migrate from one world to the other world. And that's the subject of this other video here. Maybe you would like to check. It's the story of Capella, a planet that was like 14,000 years ago in the same situation that planet Earth is going through right now. And those souls that couldn't be there again for another incarnation were brought guess where to well you will have to click in this video to check click in it oh i love that hook click and check where all those souls were taken to see you there